I'm Stephen, and uh, I grew up the youngest of three children, and my family liked to travel a lot, and about 99% of the time we would drive, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this road trip idea. One place that my family went to a lot when I was young was a place called Lake Somerville, sort of in between Houston and Austin. And uh, I was really young when we went there, so some of my first memories were at that place. Uh, I caught my first fish in Lake Somerville. Um, I remember driving on Papa's old boat uh, in Lake Somerville. And even though I was sort of afraid of water at the time, I swam a few times in Lake Somerville. My older brother, Jason, wasn't afraid of the water when we were young. Um, I remember one trip we took to Lake Somerville. My parents were up on the shore watching my brother and I swim. Well, he, he was swimming. I was uh, in ankle deep water on, on the shoreline. But my brother was getting kind of deep, bobbing out there kind of deep. And uh, my mom saw him out there and, and she yelled at him, Jason, come back closer to shore. You're, you're too deep. And my brother's response was kind of a classic uh, response. Our family still talks about it. Um, he yelled back to my mother uh, as he was bobbing in the deep water, Mom, don't worry. The water is only up to my eels. Um, if, uh, if you've got a funny story, a vacation story, a road trip story from, from your past, and you want to share that with your brothers and sisters here, uh, I invite you to come by any Wednesday night after we're done, starting next week uh, in the Starting Point classroom. Uh, share your, your quick funny story uh, on video, and we're going to run some of those each week before we get started. Really, most of my road trip memories have less to do with the destination of the vacation and more to do with the road trip along the way, the, the adventure and the journey. Um, it seems like it's, it's on that journey where most of the fun stuff really happens. And sometimes the moving stuff and the unexpected stuff tends to happen along that road trip. The book of Mark is essentially an account of Jesus' road trip to the cross. And just like our road trips, he had some fun along the way and, and he had some moving moments along the way and he had some unexpected things that happened along the way. I mean, just ask the people that, that joined him on that journey. Uh, take for instance a guy named Bartimaeus, a guy that was blind and Jesus uh, crossed paths with him and, and healed him. And then we're told Bartimaeus got up and followed Jesus down the road. And now, nearly 2,000 years later, discipleship is still about following Jesus down that road. Following Jesus is an adventure. It's, it's a journey. It's a road trip. And the Jesus who called Bartimaeus to walk down that road with him, the Jesus that calls us to walk down the road with him, still leads us on that journey today.